Okay, so we've got 4x equals 3x plus 5. So, um, minus 3x. Right. So, what we want to do is we want to get x equals some number. Let's get x's all on one side, numbers on the other. So, um, so the trick with this, if anyone's watching from home and stuck, the trick is what I want you to do from home is get the 5 all by itself. And so if you want to get the 5 all by itself, you should probably get rid of that guy. Because if you do that, then you're going to have x's on one side and numbers on the other. And that's just a handy way of doing it. And to get rid of the 3x, subtract 3x. And now we have 4x minus 3x, 1x, or x equals 5. And if anyone tried this, it's also fine. Some students like to subtract 4x. That's actually not too bad. Just make sure you put 0 on the left, and we'll have a negative 1x plus 5. But then you'll have to subtract 5 from both sides to get negative 5 equals negative 1x. And then you'll have to divide by negative 1 to get 5 equals x. And that's fine, because x is 5, and that's OK. But look, it's a little bit longer. That's why you might want to think think about it. You think, well, let's get x's on one side, numbers on the other. And then we'll usually get it in less steps. Right?